Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Uh, this is Haji again. Um, today I want to talk about mugwort, if I'm saying right, it's mugwort. It's a herb that um, it helps you with lucid dreams and it helps you with, I guess if you drink it, uh, it helps you with digestion and then a lot of people they say it helps you with vivid dreams and then visions and some people they smoke it uh to uh some people they smoke it to uh kind of make them mellow relax and meditate some people you can burn it as an instance to meditate with it so i was like you know what i'm gonna go try it i'm gonna go get this herb everybody's talking about i'm gonna see what's going on because everybody's like man if you try if you put it underneath your pillow or if you make mugwort with a pillow some people they put it they put it in a small um, closing. They make it like as a pillow when they go to sleep. They put it underneath their pillow, and they, everybody have the same result. Like you, you uh, lucid dream to where you awake in your dream, and then you know you get all the answers you want. You know it's just amazing. So I had a lot of good stuff about mugwort. So what I did is I went and got it. I bought it, but it's just a small. Uh, it's a small package it's not that big because i don't know i like to experience i like to see i like to, to see for myself before i even get on youtube and say stuff i don't like to give false information so i said you know what let me try let me explain myself then we'll see what's up because this this is my great right here is just like it's like five bucks so for for just uh experience you know i just bought a little so what I did is I bought it, and the first night I just put a little in a, in a bag, in a, in a plastic bag, and then I put it underneath my pillow, just to see what people are talking about. Now, uh, and then I, people they say they smoke it. Some people they say they drink as a tea. So I, I like tea. So I I drink. I I made some as a tea, and I drink it, and then I drank it, and then the rest I put underneath my pillow. So, I gotta admit, you know, they are right. This, um, I'm sorry, I just kind of woke up from a, a crazy kind of DMT dream type. I'm a little bit confused between reality and, 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 and stuff, okay? <laughs> so, well, they're right, because what I, I just, I just woke up and I'm going to pick my, uh, to drop my daughter to school. The dream that I dream, like, it was, okay. I used this technique first yesterday and the technique it goes like if you want to lose it if you want to have a lucid dream during the day look at your hand I didn't believe it I just like to experience because we are here to experience life it's happening to you you are here to observe it and witness and experience you are your own art you don't need to go to nobody else to ask for answers you have all the answers and you got to be creative so I did what people say, you know, I, like, you know, they say, look at your hand during the day if you want to have a lucid dream in the night when you sleep. So I kept looking at my hand. So when you sleep and if you look at your hand, it reminds you that you're awake, you're not asleep, just like in real life. So I don't know with the uh, I put the mug way underneath my pillow and I fall asleep. Right. Let's get straight to the point. So I'm not wasting nobody's time. I am 110% sure what everybody's talking about that mugwort will give you lucid dreams. They're not lying. This is this is this is very very beautiful herb, and I'm I'm gonna start working with herbs and oil and stuff essential. I like you know because this is natural from the earth. So, well, I fall asleep. I remember first I was flying, right? You know you know how you fly in the sky, but I wasn't at this moment when I was flying. I wasn't awake yet. I wasn't I wasn't in a lucid dream yet, but as I was flying, then all of a sudden I just looked at my hand, and then I know we you know we just we just conscious infinity conscious like you know we live you know consciously we are just conscious infinity conscious you know we live forever and ever. So, anyways, consciously when I looked at my hand, I was like, oh yeah, I am dreaming. So that was a wake up call, right? Now. Knowing that in my dream that I'm flying and then when I looked at my hand, I was up. Like knowing I was I was in lucid dream right now, that knowing that I'm dreaming, 
He's, he's where the fun starts. So, consciously, it's like, you know, you know, you know your, your high conscious, your subconscious mind speaking to you or something. So you, consciously, like subconsciously, like, you know, I can hear a voice in my head. It says, okay, now that you know you're aware, you're in dream and you're lucid dream, you're awake, you're dreaming. Like, I test, uh, I, like, do something, you know what I'm saying? So, as I was flying, I was like, I, I was I was looking through, I was flying through, uh, like, underneath me was just nothing but forest. So, when I woke up in lucid dream, when I was flying, I was like, okay, let's test this. Let's see what's up. What I did is, it's like, I imagine, I was like, I need a, I need a, 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 build, a building right there. I imagine a building. And then, it just built. As I was flying, I was making... I was building my own world as, as I was flying, knowing that I'm lucid dreaming. So now I can just call up to things with my mind, with my thoughts. Like they say, you, your thoughts creates real, your reality. That's what I was doing. I was like, I need a building of it. There's a building. I was having fun with it. It was I, I was having fun with it. You know, I told myself I'm going to ask about life when I'm lucid dreaming. But no, I just started acting goofy. And having fun with it. And that's what life about. It's just, you know, you got to observe and have fun. I was like, I need a building over there. There was a building. I need a sun in the sky. There was a sun. I need a, I need a, I need a this. I need, and then I was like, okay, I need, I need a small, for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe it's where I'm from. I'm like, I need a village over there. And then it's just, they just, like, it just built it, like, to, like, village. And, like, I need people. People, did they just appear? I'm like, wait a minute. So, that itself, before I continue, it taught me that, we our thoughts create our reality we are like we're like more than we we're more powerful than we think we are i guess we downgrade ourselves by believing something by l looking up to something hoping and you know having faith for something like we not like we are not nothing you know what i mean you know i'm going with this it's hard to explain like we are very powerful conscious conscious i want to say we are very powerful like our it is just amazing how powerful we are we just don't know we we can create anything with our mind we can change our life with our thoughts and that's that's all we have like our thoughts our conscious is it like that's 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 us we are subconscious like i don't know it's like even if a zombie, right? Zombie is still like you see they show you in zombie, it's still, you know, dragging his body because the conscious is still there and the conscious it creates it does whatever it wants. It creates your whole world unless you you know when you shoot a zombie in the head and then it is just done because the subconscious then you know your conscious, you know, they go into a different body or something. I don't know how to explain it. But you know, like our brain, our subconscious mind, is the best tool that we have. Like it's it's us. Like that's you can sit here and think of going to Walmart or Walgreens. You can be there while sitting here. That's your that's us. That's that's your soul, infinity, living as above so below. But anyways, when I was um, as I was creating that, this this is where it gets very interesting, right? This is where I had I had no idea this was coming. I was having my fun, creating my own world, whatever. Just like, you know, when you're in DMT trip. I've never been there, but I, I, searched, I searched videos about DMT. I want to try one day, but I'm not going to go look for it because if, if it's not a drug. It's a compound uh, mixed stuff, to, you know, for like... Anyways, <laughs> I will do some more research on it, but, you know, I want to try it, but I'm not going to look for it because you have to find you. That means, you know, when you find you, that means you can do it. You cannot look for it. But I'll manifest it as long as I'm thinking about it. It will come into into my you know it will come into my life. I know that because we create we create everything we create in our thoughts. Your thoughts create your reality. So, anyways, this way uh, um, this way it gets a little bit you know shady. Everything gets a little bit scary for me. Okay, so as I was creating my own world just doing this and that, you know, creating stuff, having fun. I'm like, I need building over there, puppy pops. I need this. I know I'm dreaming. Meanwhile, I'm hoping nobody wakes me up because <laughs> I'll be mad because I'm in lucid dream and I'm in control in my dream. That's all about you in control in your dream. So now you're like awake and you're in control in your dream. So then all of a sudden, just like every DM, DMT people who took DMT trip talk about, I got, it's like, I got shot. My, my whole body got shot in my third eye. It's like I 
shrank down in my throat eye and I became nothing but thoughts, right? This week, I don't know how to explain this. I'm going to try. I became nothing but thoughts, right? I have no body. I have nothing. I was just conscious, right? So I was, as I was conscious, I can see behind me, left, right, in front of me, and I am everything. So he's, he's, he's a little bit trippy. And then I remember flying. You know how you dream you falling? But this time I was dreaming. While I'm in lucid dream, aware, I was dreaming. I was like really awake. I wasn't even dreaming. I was like awake. I was shot through windows and windows. And and then my I was shown my third eye. I was going through my third eye. I knew it wasn't my whole body. It was just my conscious. Going through my third eye up to the sky. It was scary, but I was like, I want to see what's up. How, it's, not gonna, it's not like I'm going to die. I want to see what's going on. I want to see what's going to show me. Then as I was going to the sky, and then all of a sudden it was just, I came to... Uh, I came to a limit so it was just uh I stopped and then it wasn't my body going up sky remember it's just conscious I stopped and then it was just dark like how they say they avoid void yes yeah, something like that but I don't know if it's a void or not but it was dark but then the stars they were just stars I can see I was like me what I'm trying to say is like I was shoot all the way to the stars closer to the all the stars on in the sky, like I can see the stars, like I'm close to the stars, like you, I can literally touch the stars. So they're just passing by, but I don't have a body, it's just conscious. Just like when your soul leave your body and you're just nothing but conscious, right? You have memories, you take everything with you, but you're nothing but conscious. So I see the stars, right? So, and then subconsciously, it's like I can hear the voice, but then I know, I just know it's not nobody talking to me. Is myself subconsciously telling me that like I just need to say thank you. Like it's like it's, the voice was like this. All you have to say is thank you, appreciate. And then I was just like thank you, repeating repeatedly going thank you, thank. I was like right looking at the stars. I can nearly I can like if I want to touch, I can touch them. It was just like dark, but I can see the stars. It was like I was up there. All I kept saying is like, thank you, thank you. And, and then as I was saying thank you, what I realized, I was connected to everything and everything was me. And I don't know, it's like everything was like, I am aware what's going on. I'm there, I'm here. I'm, I'm aware what's going on behind me, left, right. And I, I am, I was everything connected, including the stars. I, the stars were me. Everything was just connected. So all I can say is, all I hear voices saying, all you can say is thank you. So I took a lesson as like we need to thank this universe. We need to thank like in our life. Like this is amazing. And then I realized when I was there, like all this drama and, and stress is all like pointless. Really, like we just here to, you know, we're using the physical body to we are sub we are subcon we are conscious subconscious mind you like using a physical body to experience this reality and everything is already written it's gonna happen it's happening to you and you're here to observe and learn from it and i was just like saying thank you this is amazing thank you like we are all one like i was connected to everything and then i was connected to everything and everything was me and i was feeling everything around me so that I don't know. It's just, it's hard to explain. Like I said, it's like coming out of DMT. But of course, you know, we have natural DMT in our body. But with this Margaret, like really, it took me, first night. This is the first night. I just put a lid in the bag and I slept. First night, I just want to try. You know, I didn't win or I didn't go all like, oh, sh you know, I just first, I just want to try. And then that first night, it was, that's it. It was crazy. So, I, yeah, 100%, I believe it. And I'm looking to buy more. But then, Okay, when I was there, the void, whatever, it was just dark and stars and everything was me and, you know, I don't know, everything, I was connected to everything. And then it wanted to show me more, but I wasn't ready. Like, I tried to wake myself out. It was like, it was resisting, like, no, we still got more to show me. But then I woke up because I was, like, scared. It's my first time. And when I was, when I woke up, I was like, I was, I was just like, I look at reality, I'm like, what what was that you know what i'm saying it's like coming out of dmt trip I was like, what was that it's like i look alive different right now like all this i'm mad at my job this is this it don't matter like i'm more interested in finding out like because there's more to this life than you think it is so yes and um yeah and then since then i start doing my own 
my own um, um i start being creative i'm a pisces so if you're a pisces we we pisces listen to me you gotta go to the institution you know we are very we are very up high when it comes to you know institution you gotta you gotta listen to institution a pisces they go over the institution you know i would sit here i think something i'm like yeah i'll do that we listen to institution a lot so what i did is i had i made a little i don't have a pillow yet i'm gonna make a pillow of, uh, i'm gonna buy more and make a pillow of it but i, I listened to me it couldn't i couldn't get this out of my head so i made a little um rag and i wrote down whatever that i want like uh whatever that i want to um to see your experience when I'm sleeping. I wrote down, I know you guys can see it, but I wrote down lucid dreams, truth, other dimensions, uh, different realms, you know, the purpose of life. I wrote down everything that came in my mind. I was just listening to my mind, you know. You know, sometimes you just gotta listen to your mind. Even if it's stupid, just write it down. Nothing's stupid, okay? Nothing is crazy. Just write it down. So I did that and then I put a little, uh, I put a little, uh, uh, mugwort in here and then i fold it up i sleep since then till today like since then every day like i um my dreams are like you know they're very detailed i've been different realm i wake up i remember i dreamed that um i dreamed that uh i was in when i woke up i, I thought maybe that was like a hell rim the hell hell rim i don't know i was stuck in this realm that it was raining Earth, like it was raining snake and and worms and then i was i was there for a long time for some reason like and we had to eat worm everybody was there they were used to it but i was new they're like oh you gotta get used to it I, they were eating worms like they wait for the rain sometimes it's flooded it's just a disaster like the whole rim like the whole rim is just a disaster nothing good sometimes you get beaten by animals you get chased by animals and the rain is like warm and and it's just like a, the whole rim was gel i don't know what it is but with Mugwort, it shows you different dreams. It's just you got to know how to... To me, I feel like it's a hell realm. I was experienced because it was so detailed. I can remember colors. Everything was vivid, you know. It was so detailed. When I wake up, I was like, what? But sorry for taking your time, though. I mean, I'm going to cut this off short. But yeah, that's that's my experience with Mugwort. So if if you want to... If you want to... If, if you want to go grab Mugwort, go grab... Like, you know, you won't regret it. Just, you know get some and then you know put put uh drink it as a tea or just, you know put it put underneath your pillow and then you know see what you're gonna experience see what you're gonna get you know it's really this 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 really works for lucid dream it's very it's 100 percent proof okay so i'm gonna be doing more experience on it and i have another video of my experience about moldavite and um yes so thank you for listening and then uh, thank you for taking your time. I really appreciate you for taking your time, you know, and watching my video and all that. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe. And um, yes, I have more video coming. So I appreciate for your time. Thank you.